for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got this Four of Cups, and it's with the Queen of Swords. Now, this Four of Cups is actually a card about wishful thinking. It does warn us to remember to pay attention to what is now. And the many blessings that we each currently experience. Also, not to worry too much about what could be, because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So, with this Four of Cups, you want to be sure that you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away, because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So, put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Now, it's with this Queen of Swords, which can point to a woman in your life. This is the type of person who is not to be trifled with. Often, she'll have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. If this is not an actual person, it points to a need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you may need to put your foot down. Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. Like I said, this is a very, very forceful energy. And a lot of people find this type of energy really abrasive. So, what I'm getting for you and your person, the recent past energy, Four of Cups, clarified by the Queen of Swords, it looks, looks like your person, they, they cut you out. They either, they cut you out of their life. Or they could have been really forceful towards you. Yeah, because the Queen of Swords, they can, they, this person, they, they, they can cut people with their words. They don't really have to use their hands. Um... But this person could have been really cold and very nasty and abrasive towards you. This person could have used force. And I'm getting that they cut you out, cut you out of their life in a very forceful way, very nasty. Like I said, they probably used a lot of really harsh words along with it. And it made you feel really tiny, really small. And I'm saying this because I'm looking at the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card above the word pass. This person is sitting at the park. He's... He's so stuck in regret and wishing things could have been different. His hand is bleeding, so he, he's so stuck in, in feeling so low and so little that he can't even get up to fix his hand. His hand is bleeding. There's a lot of blood on his hand. But anyway... This person made you feel like this Four of Cups. This person, Four of Cups can be about feeling devalued. 
and unloved. So this person, they cut you with their words. They probably was forceful towards you. They probably mistreat, mistreated you physically. Queen of Swords is very nasty. Yeah, like I said, they're so Queen of Swords is so cold and abrasive. All they really need to do is use their words. If they really wanted to hurt someone, they could do it with just their words. So anyway, this person left you feeling really, I hate to say it, really low, devalued, and unloved. But let's move on over. Let's see what we got coming up. I usually say for the two of you, but I'm looking at um, the two cards here, Temperance and Six of Wands. Now, Temperance is actually about... Things going quite well, but you may need to look at any deep personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way, and if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations that you have. Now, it's with the Six of Wands, which signals victory. If you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate any, any kind of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party, commencement celebration, or you may be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really good about yourself. So... You could feel as if you've got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah, the Six of Wands is the card that's below the word present. Yeah, I, I guess you can see it pretty clearly, but this lady, she's standing on the podium. She's waving her wand in the air, side to side, up and down. She's got all these people below her, and they're mimicking her. They're doing exactly the same as she is. So she's experiencing recognition, victory, success. Yeah. So, Aquarius. Yeah, after you've been through this difficult time with your person, I don't know if you're still with them or not, but it looks like you're just realizing that you need peace of mind. You need to find balance in yourself. And maybe some, make some new goals, aspirations. Because temperance can be about taking a look at anything you feel guilty about. Or any mistakes that you feel you've made. Or anything that has happened. Maybe in the past. Then forgive yourself. Or forgive someone and then let it go because it's really the only way you can truly make progress and that's something that you know already so you're looking for peace of mind and you feel like it's time for you to experience something great in your life yeah you want the six of wands that's what you want that's what you want in your life whether it's with a person or a situation. Yeah, you want, you realize it's time for recognition, success, and you want victory. Yeah, now if this is a person that you, you feel like you want this with and not a situation, um, just know that the Six of Wands, it suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego. While the other per person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. So with the six of wands, you can expect a lot of sexual energy. There's passion and long nights spent in bed. So six of wands is like... 
it's a lot of chemistry. A lot of, if it's a relationship that you want, a successful relationship, you're looking for a, something like a strong soulmate. Yeah. The two of you mirror each other. It's like they know your thoughts without you telling them. That's what the Six of Wands is like. You, you're looking for something like this. You're looking for great chemistry. You're looking for sparks to fly. You want recognition with someone. And you weren't, you weren't getting it with this person. Like I said, if it's not a relationship that you want that's like this, you could be looking for a situation that, that um, really gets you excited. Yeah, you want a peace of mind now. So that's that. That's what it looks like you'll be focusing on coming up. If not already. Because this person, it looks like they really, they probably beat you up mentally. Yeah. Queen of Swords can do it. Queen of Swords will do it. Make you feel really small. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is going to be. We got the Page of Pentacles. And with the Ace of Pentacles. Now the Page of Pentacles can be a card about boredom. You could be tempted to say or do things. To shake things and people up. For a little excitement. But you want to rethink the impulse. Find a better use of your energy. Because excitement it can be created. Page of Pentacles. Great energy to support you. When you have tedious work to get accomplished. Because it gives you focus. It gives you backbone and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous. Now, it's with the Ace of Pentacles. You can find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And they'll be very positive new beginnings. So you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things are going well. You could be starting something new. This could be in the area of work. Or it could be personally. Either way, with the Ace of Pentacles, it's a good thing. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. I like the picture on this Ace of Pentacles. You see, the Ace of Pentacles is the card below the word challenge. You see this cute little squirrel? He's standing next to a huge pinnacle. Just so, for those of you who don't know what pinnacles mean in the tarot, it means money, cash, coins, finance, income. But anyway, it looks like it probably rained for like maybe a day or two. Non-stop. It finally stopped raining. The squirrel came out from hiding. He's out from hiding from the rain. And he's amazed. He's like, wow. A new day. You know, he's really excited. He can't find his old footprints anywhere. His paw prints, they're all gone. So he's excited. He gets to make a new path. He's trying to figure out, should I run to the right and make some new paw prints? Should I run to the left and make some new paw prints? Or should I just run up the pinnacle and make some new paw prints? And then he's thinking, no, I'll just run right into the camera. So he's excited. And this is about a new day, new beginning, fresh new start. So that's part of your challenge, this page of pinnacles with this ace of pinnacles. So like I said, you're ready to have a peace of mind. You're ready to let go of the negative energy that drained you from being in this connection with this person. Yeah, you want you want all the grief of the past. You want you want that to be released. So you're trying to find balance. You're looking for your six of wands, whether it's a person or a situation. So it looks like you've got someone that's reaching out to you. This page of pentacles can be about um, someone messaging you or 
um, texting you, someone trying to reach out to you. Yeah, it can be about that now. The thing is that when you hear the page in the tarot, that's youth, a student, someone younger than you, or immaturity. So you're not that excited about this person. I don't know, maybe it's a family member or friend. For, mo for most of you, it's someone that is interested in you, someone that likes you. They're reaching out to you. This person wants a new beginning with you. Yeah, I don't, I guess you know who it is. Maybe it's somebody new. Could be someone new. They want a new beginning with you. They feel like you two could have something great and positive. I don't know who this is. Like I said, some of you, it's going to be a friend or a family member. And then for some of you Aquarius, it's a love interest. And you probably already know this person. They'll be reaching out to you. They see that you're no longer with the Queen of Swords. And they think they could they know or they can sense that you're you're um yeah, trying to find balance and peace of mind and maybe on the market again. They can feel it or they sense it. So somebody's reaching out to you. Wanting a new beginning. But anyway, let's move on to the outcome. We've got the Four of Pentacles. And it's with the Eight of Cups. Four of Pentacles can be about holding on to things, people, money, situations. Longer than it's healthy, longer than it's realistic. When you get this card in a reading, it's a sign that you have to look carefully at what you're clinging to. And whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. It points to anxiety, fear about money, or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. But you have to realize that being anxious and grasping it does not bring security. So either you are holding on far too tight to a situation or lover, or someone could be doing this to you. Now, it's with the Eight of Cups, which means that you choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, a job, or a neighborhood. There could be some sadness involved, but the separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. So if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a job, out of a relationship, or a living arrangement, trust yourself. Also, instead of this information coming out of the blue, or someone or something leaving you, well, it usually means that you are the one who will make this choice. Very often, one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. So your outcome, Aquarius, four of pentacles clarified by this eight of cups. Like I said, you probably know who this page of Pentacles is. It could be this, it, maybe it's the Queen of Swords who cut you in so many ways. Left a nasty mark on you. Could be that person. Or, like I said, maybe it's someone new. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. They think it would be positive and great. But the thing is that they're holding on to you really tight. In a very, very unhealthy way. It feels clingy. Clingy, needy. Now the Page of Pentacles... Like I said, it's about boredom. So, whoever this is, Queen of Swords, someone new, or someone that you already know, you're already bored with this person. And then they just, they seem too desperate or too anxious or something. 
you're, you're already over them. Yeah. And it looks like you're walking away. Eight of Cups is about walking away. Who knows? Like I said, maybe it's this person that we talked about. The recent past energy. Maybe this person came back. And now you're walking away. But for a lot of you, it's someone new. Or someone that you already know. They could be younger than you. The page, like I said, it's youth and maturity. A student or someone younger than you. They see you as a great new beginning. This person likes you. But they're clingy and needy. And you're not interested. Yeah, you're moving on. So you're back to trying to get the balance back into your life. And you're looking for your six of wands. You're looking for that magic to happen. So Aquarius, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended on this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we will all get through this. So stay strong, take good care of yourselves, come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, for these readings, the roles can be switched. You could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with a love interest, the person could be a friend or a family member, or it could be a situation. So Aquarius, yeah, you have to take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. Uh, they're not personal readings. Aquarius, I never said enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you come back and check out the next reading. And take care. And take care. And take care.